In this video, we are going to explain the sim uh, simple squamous epithelium. This time we're going to look at the kidney. There's a different video looking at the simple squamous epithelium of the tissue of the lung. So here we see a transverse section or a sagittal section of the kidney. So we're looking at the interior of the kidney structure and we see different uh, overall structures and in 2112 you'll learn a little bit more about what these structures do but the goal of the kidney the, the function of the kidney is to filter your blood so we're going to see these circular structures here uh, and that's what we want to focus on for the purposes of this video we're going to uh, pick one right now I'm looking at the 4x objective if we switch to the 10x objective focus we can see those structures a bit more clearly I'm actually going to move the slide just a bit so that I can bring some of these into focus and what we want to look at is the layer the layer of cells that surrounds this structure right here so this structure is the glomerulus and what we're looking at is this model so here's that darkly staining structure which we can see right here so we have a bundle of cells surrounded by a structure called Bowman's capsule and Bowman's capsule is made up of simple squamous epithelial tissue and this forms the boundary between this filtrate from these blood vessels um, and it's going to help in uh, production of urine so this structure that surrounds that bundle of capillaries is made up of simple squamous epithelium so if we move back to our microscope image focus once more and move to the 40x objective and focus again we can see that this Bowman's capsule is surrounded by a very thin layer of cells and here's the nucleus of one of those cells and look how flat and squished that nucleus is here we can also see another glomerulus and we can see um, a bit of those structures. Let's move around just a little on our microscope slide. And here we have an absolutely beautiful uh, glomerulus. So we see that simple squamous epithelial tissue surrounding that glomerulus all the way around the border and look what we've stumbled upon we've stumbled upon a blood vessel that has red blood cells in it and this is fantastic so this is simple squamous epithelium now I want to show you the histologyguide.org website so once you click on this it will take you to histologyguide.org we want you to explore this website and what you want to do is go out zoom out to the 4x objective and this looks very similar to what we started uh, off with on my microscope image so here's the glomerulus we want to look at one of those I clicked on the 10x and now we're able to see that line of symbol squamous epithelium and if we move even closer we can see that in a beautiful uh, pattern around that glomerulus. So right here is simple squamous epithelium. Again, we can compare that to the model that we have in the 2112 laboratory and this will be available on the table in front in our lab this week. We have simple squamous epithelium. And this would be the apical side of that tissue and this red line would be the basal side or the connective tissue of the basement membrane.